Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for trading session Thursday, the 12th of July, 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so in terms of the um, the markets and its arrangements, so uh, we have uh, the Asian markets back up overnight. Okay, and on the, the potential hope uh, and uh, potential. Um, uh, alluding to the fact that um, the US and China potentially may be opening up some sort of channels of communication. So again, that certainly has helped Asian markets certainly bounce off the lows there. Okay, overnight, so quite substantial bounce as well, given the fact that yesterday we sold off quite sharply. China certainly up almost 2% on the Shanghai. Hang Seng is up and the, uh, the Nikkei is up 1.1%. Okay, in terms of uh, economic data this morning, really, it's all about inflation data in Europe, nothing major. Uh, Mr. Carney did have a, a speech yesterday, but nothing major of any uh, other than the fact that he remains bullish on the economy, which really is strange given the uh, obviously uh, trade rhetoric at the moment with uh, and trade wars and protectionism, etc. Either way, that's the case. So it certainly seems that he's, he maintains his hawkish stance. Okay. Uh, in terms of the data this morning, like I said, European inflation numbers, that's all that's come out so far. Uh, we are looking towards uh, industrial production uh, as well. Uh, in terms of Europe, uh, let's just uh, I think that's around 10 o'clock if I'm if I'm correct. Okay, so that should be coming later on. Okay, so again in terms of Europe, uh, we've got in industrial production, then we've got ECB meeting accounts, FOMC Kashkari, US jobs data, inflation numbers. So that should be interesting, and then Mr. Harker speaking as well. So two potential FOMC members there with regards to the dollar potential direction. Okay, now. Um, in terms of the markets at present, let's just see exactly where we are. Technically speaking, the German DAX at the moment building a potential base here. The daily chart uh, certainly flushing lower. Okay, again, trade war concerns with regards to Europe. Mr. Trump is here, so again, keep an eye on any potential headlines coming out from that idiot. Okay, and that, that will certainly be potentially moving markets as well. So watch out there, folks. Okay. Okay, so German DAX finding previous resistance equals support on this region on the 60 minute chart. Again, like I said, focus remains on. Trade war protectionism, obviously tariffs with regards to uh, German automobiles as well. That certainly is a drag at present. Now, Euro certainly is rising as well up to 1.17. 10 minute chart, again, like I said, we close the gap. Okay, we're certainly holding that potential gap. Now, we do have an unfilled gap above as well, so watch out for that gap. Now, connecting the, the pivot highs here. Okay, so the market certainly is holding there. And just connecting the pivot lows, and obviously, you've got gap fill as well. So, again, a lot of the uh, the market direction depends on the uh, on the US, and let's see how the US markets react as well. In terms of uh, the French CAC, let's give you an insight here. French CAC daily chart flushing lower, certainly finding weakness towards that gap fill. Okay, we do have gaps below that need to be filled. Uh, okay, so watch out for these gaps here. Uh, you've got a gap here at 5320, and you've got another gap at 5270. Okay, so just watch out for those potential gaps below. In terms of the 60 minute chart, let's just get, bring that up again. Again, we're finding support around this zone here at 35350. Uh, you do have the unfilled gap above as well, so watch out there. Okay, so in terms of next potential movement, and your horizontal resistance at this 5390 zone as well, so watch out above. In terms of the daily chart on the French CAC, let's have a look here. Um, again, it's uh, just a flush lower potentially. 10 minute chart, give you an insight in that regards to that as well. Okay, so uh, quite an impressive flush yesterday. Okay, certainly uh, European markets certainly are languishing. We've held that potential support at 5345. Let's see where the next move will be. You are looking at gap filled below at 5320, so watch out for that zone there. Okay, in terms of the FTSE 100, again, we've flushed lower. Uh, we are holding that support at 57590 very pretty impressively, so watch out there. Uh, again, uh, you've got um, fib retracement resistance. I mean, you do have horizontal resistance in this zone. This level has been quite a key uh, potential pivot point or a turning point on the market so watch out there in terms of the next move okay so resistance is seen at 7700 we already know uh, oscillating between 7630 between 7580 7560 and 7540 so certainly trading sideways at this uh, current uh, juncture okay so again it's all about trade war concerns between china and america oil prices certainly took a hit yesterday as well that certainly is dragging on the markets as well. Okay, moving on, S&P 500. Okay, ever since we've uh, gapped lower from that pivot high at 2793, currently trading around the 2780 zone. Okay, let's see how we fare. 
20 size 774 certainly is holding a support you got resistance above at 2786 and then gap fill at 2793 so again a lot of it does depend on the u.s indices so keep an eye on all those u.s indices in terms of the next potential move last but not least euro stocks let's just give you a quick insight into euro stocks as well whilst we're here euro stocks has been weak okay uh, re remains weak uh, okay you've got that get on one fill gap about 3470 certainly failing to bounce uh, as well so it certainly isn't a good sign in terms of european indices okay one would have expected a potential thrust back up 3440 and that hasn't been that hasn't uh, arrived either so again watch out for gap fill above as well okay 60 minute chart is into key support previous resistance equals support so one would expect a potential bounce here but if german dax uh, continues to move lower than you are looking for this indic indices to move lower as well so watch out below okay so i think that's a good summation really of european indices uh certainly european indices are stagnating at present certainly lagging to a large extent as opposed to FTSE certainly has thrusted higher but given the fact that we've had a, a sell-off in oil FTSE certainly remains vulnerable as well uh, copper prices certainly have come under immense pressure we have had a small bounce but whether that's uh, that can last long given the fact that uh, we've got weakness um, in terms of uh, China uh, and obviously global trade as well. Uh, again, Mr. Trump is here, so watch out for headlines there. Uh, two FOMC members, and then we've got inflation numbers and job numbers out of the US. Again, very market moving, uh, a lot of market moving information there. Uh, so uh, remain fluid and uh, certainly remain subjective uh, to a large extent in terms of the economic data, or should I say objective uh, in terms of the economic data that comes in. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and also visit TradeSignal for the latest trading app. Goodbye now.